Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on the Sludal News Channel. My name is Fire Centaur, and I'm Paul Pribish in the real world. Today, I'd like to tell you about some exciting new developments in Sludal 0.4. Wouldn't it be great if your students could be sent on virtual field trips around Second Life and document their findings? Well, now you can do that using the Freemail Blogger. Freemail Blogger was programmed by Seraphim Panov and modified by him and I for Second Life. Once installed in your Moodle website, Freemail Blogger allows your Second Life snapshots to be sent directly from the virtual world into your Moodle blogs. Sending snapshots and text in Second Life to your Moodle blogs is accomplished in a few easy steps. First, students go to the File menu. Go down to Take Snapshot, or they can press Control shift s S, or on a Mac, Command-Shift-S. Select Send via Email, and then press Send. In the Email Snapshot window, under Recipient's Email field, the students will enter an email address that you've specified for blog submissions. Then, under Your Name, they can just put in their name, under the subject area, they type in the letter B and a colon for blogs, their Moodle username, and their Moodle user password. Then in the message area, they can type title and a colon, and the title of their blog. And underneath the title, they can write their blog entry. And then they just press send. In minutes, their blog post will be published in your Moodle blogs. If you visit your Moodle website now and check your blog section, you should see the snapshot along with the text and the slurl that you took within Second Life. We hope you enjoy this new blogging tool for Sloodle 0.4. For more information about Sloodle and how it can help provide a framework for your online classes in Second Life, please visit sloodle.org. Now, let's take a brief intermission before the hard hat section of this video, where you will learn how to install and configure the Freemail Blogger. Welcome to the hard hat installation section of our program. In this section, I'm going to show you how to install and configure the Freemail module on your Moodle website. It's probably best that you get your system administrator to complete these tasks for you. However, if you are familiar with FTP programs such as FileZilla, then you should be able to comfortably complete these steps on your own. So let's load up FileZilla and you're going to have to log into your website and find your Moodle folder. In the Moodle folder, you'll find a subdirectory called mod. This is where all the Moodle modules are installed, including Sloodle and it's also where Freemail is going to be installed. So, on your local hard drive, find the Freemail folder that you downloaded from our sludl.org and just drag it into drag it in, into the mod folder on your website. Once all the files have completed uploading, then you can open up your, your web browser just type in the address of your Moodle site and put a trailing backslash and type admin. When you press enter, the tables for Freemail should automatically install themselves. And there we go, the Freemail tables have been installed. We can now go to the administration area and configure Freemail. So let's press continue, click on modules, and then activities. Scroll down to find the Freemail module. Click on that and that will take us to the configuration page. There are a few settings you'll need to set up in order to get Freemail to work. The first field says mail account name. Here, I've entered a special address that I've set up specifically for my students to send blog posts to. Then I'm going to type in my password. And since I'm using Gmail, I'm going to select IMAP as my mail account type. Now you'll notice above the third field, there's some text that gives you a hint on what to use for Gmail settings. You can simply highlight this, control copy it, 
and paste it into this field. For the email address to upload content with Freemail to, you can simply add the same address you entered in the first field. In my case, that was blog at eslteacherlake.co.kr. You can now scroll to the bottom and press Save Changes. Now, let's test in Second Life if our blog settings work. So, I've just pressed Command-Shift-S and the snapshot preview has loaded up. I'm going to click on Send via Email. I'm going to press the Send button. I'm going to type in the email address that I've entered into Field 1 on my Moodle site. I'm going to type in my name. And for the subject line, I'm going to type in B, my, username, my Moodle username, and my Moodle password. In the message area, I'm going to type the word title and a colon, and then a title for my blog. And then I'm going to press Enter, and on the next lines, I'm going to type my blog entry, and I'm going to press Send. Now let's go back to our website. Now, in order for Freemail to actually check your email address, you have to run a special script called Check Mail. And you can do this by going to the Freemail module and click on Test Account Settings. This page will tell you whether or not the email was properly parsed into your Moodle blogs. In our case, it says, Parse mail begin total number one. And it says add blog true. That means that the blog has been successfully entered into our Moodle blogs. Now in order to automate this mail checking procedure, you'll have to set up a cron job on your server. And again, your system administrator can help you with this. We also have the details on how to set up a cron job on our Sloodle wiki. Now let's go take a look at the blog. And there we are, our blog entry with the picture, the text, and the slurl. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demo, and we'll see you in Second Life. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This is Fire Centaur signing off.